public speaking, how do you feel about it? Are you scared? Do you feel like your heart's just about to bust out of your chest? Well, that's how I usually feel too. That's how I always feel. But I'm gonna give you some tips and ideas as far as how you might be able to fix it. See you in a bit. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Carla Lewis, where I help you help yourself in organizing your life. It's about 100 degrees out here, maybe even more. I'm at a location that I haven't been to in 20 years, maybe even longer. Anyway, bringing back some memories. Public speaking. How do you feel about it? It's pretty scary, right? I agree. And when I first started doing this, I was like, what am I thinking? I don't want to get up and speak in front of anybody. I don't even want to tell you what my name is in a meeting. I just want you to pass over me. Don't ask me anything. Don't ask me my name. Don't ask me my advice. Don't ask me what my suggestion is. Don't ask me a single thing because I'm scared to answer you in a crowd. One-on-one, -on -one, right? We're all fine one-on-one, -on -one. but it's when we're in a crowd. What I think that helped me the most, I think will help you the most, and that is, first off, people don't see your heart beating out of your chest, just busting out. They don't see you turn five shades red. They might see you turn a little bit on the red side, but they're not seeing what you're feeling. When you start thinking that they're seeing what you're feeling, then you're feeding into it more. You're bringing that anxiety up. You're bringing it up. You're bringing it up. You're bringing it up to the point where you can't even hold a sentence. You can't even say anything worth the value because you're just so afraid. There's a couple things that you can do. The first step is realize you are not alone. Everybody goes through this. Everybody feel scared when they have to public speak. There are some natural speakers that don't go through this, but it's rare. We are the majority. The ones that are scared and are sweaty and stressed out and please don't call on me. We are the majority of how people feel. Something that I did that really helped me out was well guys, it's about 150 degrees out here and so my phone was burning up and I had to change location. But let's get back to what we're talking about. Public speaking. I think one of the first things that I would say about as far as how to maybe come o overcome some of your fear on public speaking, which like I said, I'm not an expert. I have been working on it. And one of the things that really helped me out was I joined a Toastmasters group. The reason why I like the Toastmasters group, well, let me back up for a moment. The reason why I joined a Toastmasters group is because I was asked to introduce a band. And I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, there's no way it's happening. And I, you, you could forget it. That was, that was my approach on it. Then I started thinking to myself, well, this person really wants me to introduce the band and, and why can't I do it? Why, is, why am I so fearful of public speaking that I can't even do it? And so I looked into it a little bit and I said, this is silly. And I said, yeah, I can get up there and I can introduce that band. Well, guys, I couldn't. I was so scared. I was asked, am I ready? I was like, no, 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 and I'm not doing it. And so I ended up not introducing the band. And I felt really bad. And I still, even after I said I couldn't do it, I wanted to get up and do it, but I couldn't. And I just said, enough is enough. This has just gripped onto my life for so long, not being able to speak in public, not being able to hold a conversation. One-on-one's -on -one's fine, but I always felt like I was being judged. I didn't just have a free conversation. And it always sounded so choppy and not like I knew what I was saying. I was, I'm just over it. What I did, it was suggested to me. If you feel so passionate about public speaking, why don't you join Toastmasters? I went to the first Toastmasters meeting and I loved it. It was great. Turned four shades of red while I was introducing myself and felt like my heart was beating out of my chest. After the whole Toastmasters meeting was done, the president came up to me and she kind of knew me, but she didn't know me. We worked together, but she didn't know me. And I said, oh my gosh, I was so afraid just 
just saying my name, just saying who I was. She said, well, I couldn't tell. She was like, you actually speak really well. I said, what? I was in shock. Have I put this complex on myself? Maybe I'm the one who's just sabotaging myself left and right. And so I started looking at it and I was like, I like Toastmasters. I really recommend Toastmasters in a sense of if you are afraid to speak in public. This is like a family. We get together once a week. I usually go like once a month. We get together and you can go and listen to a speech. You can give your speech. You can just do a table topic. You can say that day you don't wanna do anything. You don't have to. Just getting out there, getting that first step is so important. So what I did is I didn't participate, but I did say to myself, if I get called on, I will answer the question. Well, I did get called on for a table topic and it was a hard one. I, did, I don't even know what I said. And again, I felt super sweaty and was very nervous of what was going on. Overcame it and got through it. That is like a really good first step. If you can just do Toastmasters or some type of support group, I think that that will help open up all kinds of avenues and, and, and break down all these walls that I think that it might not be that you're a bad public speaker. It might be that you have this complex about yourself, that you're putting these walls up around you so that you are saying, I'm not good at this and I can't do that. And oh no, don't call on me. And pretty soon you might be like, hey, call on me because I want to answer the question. Or you might still be like, no, I'm not ready yet. And you may feel like you're not ready and it's okay. Just take your time, but make the first step. That is my advice for you this week as far as public speaking. Hopefully when it's not 110 degrees, I may revisit this conversation because there's a lot that goes to public speaking. It's something that more people than you would think actually are afraid to do. There are those people that are just those on stage, they, you know, they just love, love the camera. And then there's people like me and maybe you who are like, no, 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 don't call on me. Regardless of what it is that you are, whether you're that outgoing, I want the spotlight person or that person where you're like, mm, don't call on me. It's not as bad as you, it's how you perceive things a lot of the time people aren't seeing it the same way you are. Well, I hope you liked my vlog on public speaking. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna revisit this when I get some more ammo, when I've been in Toastmasters longer. And I do recommend that you do some type of support group where you need to speak. That is gonna be what gets you out of your comfort zone. The other thing too, guys, start a vlog. Start a vlog because then you don't have any choice. And I will say my experience, and I think probably most other vloggers' experiences, they are way more outgoing when it comes to speaking to people one-on-one -on -one or in a group or in front of a crowd or whatever it is. You have to be, you don't have a choice. You do kind of get that larger than life feeling it's because this is something that you've tackled and now you don't have to be fearful of. Start a vlog. Join a Toastmasters group. Realize that it's a lot of it's in your head. If you like these videos, I'd hit the like and subscribe button so that I can bring you this information in a timely fashion. I hope everybody has a great week and thank you for tuning into Five Minutes with Carla Lewis where I help you help yourself in organizing your life. Bye.